Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our podcast for English learners. I'm Emma. And I'm Alex. We're happy to have you with us for episode three. Today, we will talk about food. Food is a fun topic and everyone loves to eat. Yes, food is very important in our lives. We eat every day and different people like different kinds of food. Let's talk about our favorite foods. Alex, what is your favorite food? I love pizza. It's delicious and you can put many different toppings on it. What about you, Emma? What is your favorite food? I love sushi. It's fresh and tasty. I also like how it looks. Do you like sushi, Alex? Yes, I like sushi too, but I don't eat it very often. What is your favorite drink, Emma? My favorite drink is green tea. It's healthy and tastes good. What is your favorite drink, Alex? I like orange juice. It's sweet and refreshing. Do you like to cook, Emma? Yes, I do. I like to try new recipes and make different dishes. Do you like to cook, Alex? Yes, I enjoy cooking too. It's fun and I can make my favorite foods. What was the last thing you cooked, Emma? I made spaghetti with tomato sauce. It was easy to make and very tasty. What about you, Alex? What did you cook last? I made chicken curry. It took some time, but it was worth it. Do you like spicy food, Emma? Yes, I like spicy food, but not too spicy. A little bit of spice is good. Do you like spicy food, Alex? Yes, I love spicy food. The hotter, the better. What is your favorite dessert, Emma? I love chocolate cake. It's sweet and rich. What about you, Alex? What is your favorite dessert? I like ice cream. It's cold and comes in many flavors. Do you eat dessert every day, Emma? No, I don't eat dessert every day. It's a special treat for me. Do you eat dessert every day, Alex? No, I try not to, but it's hard to resist sometimes. Do you have a favorite restaurant, Emma? Yes, I love a small Italian restaurant near my house. They make the best pasta. Do you have a favorite restaurant, Alex? Yes, I like a Japanese restaurant downtown. Their sushi is amazing. Do you like to eat out or cook at home, Emma? I like both, but I prefer to cook at home. It's healthier and I can try new recipes. What about you, Alex? I like to eat out sometimes, but I also enjoy cooking at home. It's fun and relaxing. Do you like to try food from other countries, Emma? Yes, I love trying food from other countries. It's exciting to taste different flavors. What about you, Alex? Yes, I enjoy trying new foods too. It's a great way to learn about other cultures. What is the most unusual food you have tried, Emma? I tried crab once. It was a little strange, but I liked it. What about you, Alex? What is the most unusual food you have tried? I tried prawns in Thailand. It was very different, but interesting to try. Do you like to watch cooking shows, Emma? Yes, I love cooking shows. They give me new ideas and recipes to try. Do you watch cooking shows, Alex? Yes, I enjoy watching them too. They are fun and inspiring. What's your favorite cooking show, Emma? I like MasterChef. 
The contestants are very talented and the dishes they make are amazing. Do you have a favorite cooking show, Alex? I like the Great British Bake Off. It's fun to watch and the desserts they make look so delicious. Do you follow any food blogs or YouTube channels, Emma? Yes, I follow a few food blogs and YouTube channels. They have great recipes and cooking tips. Do you follow any, Alex? Yes, I follow some YouTube channels too. They make cooking look so easy and fun. Do you like to bake, Emma? Yes, I love baking. I often bake cookies and cakes for my family. Do you like to bake, Alex? I enjoy baking too. I like making bread and trying different kinds of pastries. Have you ever taken a cooking class, Emma? Yes, I took a cooking class last year. It was very helpful and I learned a lot of new techniques. Have you taken a cooking class, Alex? Yes, I took a baking class. It was a lot of fun and I improved my baking skills. What is your favorite dish to cook, Emma? I love making lasagna. It's a bit of work, but it's worth it. What is your favorite dish to cook, Alex? I like making stir fry. It's quick, healthy, and you can use any vegetables you have. Do you have any cooking tips for our listeners, Emma? Yes, always taste your food as you cook. It helps you adjust the seasoning. Do you have any tips, Alex? Yes, don't be afraid to try new ingredients and recipes. Cooking should be fun and creative. Great tips, Alex. Now, let's talk about some food-related idioms and phrases. That's a great idea. Let's start with the phrase a piece of cake. It means something is very easy to do. For example, learning to make a sandwich is a piece of cake. That's a great one. Another idiom is spill the beans. It means to reveal a secret. For example, don't spill the beans about the surprise party. Here's another, butter someone up. It means to flatter someone to get something. For example, he tried to butter up the teacher to get a better grade. I like that one. Another phrase is bring home the bacon. It means to earn money for the family. For example, my dad works hard to bring home the bacon. Very nice. Another idiom is egg someone on. It means to encourage someone to do something, usually something bad. For example, they egged him on to steal the candy. Here's another one. The icing on the cake. It means something that makes a good situation even better. For example, winning the award was amazing, but getting to meet the president was the icing on the cake. That's a good one. Another phrase is cool as a cucumber. It means to be very calm and relax. For example, she was nervous about the test, but he was as cool as a cucumber. I like that. Another idiom is take it with a grain of salt. It means to not take something too seriously. For example, he says he can run fast, but I take it with a grain of salt. Good one. Here's another, in a pickle. It means to be in a difficult situation. For example, I lost my keys and now I'm in a pickle. That's a funny one. Another phrase is cry over spilled milk. It means to be upset about something that has already happened and cannot be changed. For example, it was just a mistake. There's no use crying over spilled milk. Here's another idiom, full of beans. It means to be very energetic and lively. 
For example, the kids were full of beans after eating candy. I like that one. Another phrase is have a lot on your plate. It means to have many things to do. For example, she has a lot on her plate with work and school. Good one. Another idiom is go bananas. It means to become very excited or angry. For example, the crowd went bananas when the team won. That's a fun one. Another phrase is in a nutshell. It means to summarize something in a few words. For example, in a nutshell, he's a great person. Here's another, sell like hotcakes. It means something is selling very quickly. For example, the new toy is selling like hotcakes. Another idiom is to be the apple of someone's eye. It means to be very special to someone. For example, her son is the apple of her eye. I like that one. Another phrase is bread and butter. It means the main source of income. For example, teaching is our bread and butter. Here's another idiom, a bad apple. It means a person who negatively influences others. For example, one bad apple can spoil the whole group. That's a good one. Another phrase is walk on eggshells. It means to be very careful about what you say or do. For example, he was walking on eggshells around his boss. These idioms are fun to learn and use. Try to use them when talking about food with your friends and family. Yes, practicing these idioms will help you become more comfortable with English. Do you have a favorite idiom, Emma? I like spill the beans because it sounds funny and is useful. I like a piece of cake because it's easy to remember and use. That's great. We hope you enjoyed learning these new idioms and phrases. Try to use them when talking about food with your friends and family. Thank you for listening. We will be back with another episode soon. Keep practicing and have fun with your English. Subscribe to our channel for more fun podcasts. Bye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone.